What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. Back with another Gay Card News update. Today, we are talking about five key victories to winning against Kentucky. The football team that's beat us, I believe, five years in a row. But tomorrow night, 7 p.m., I will be there, not physically, but watching it on film. Uh, before I go any further, man, I need you to do one of three things. One, like the video. That's free. Just like the video. That's all you got to do. Two, subscribe to the channel. Okay? If you subscribe to the channel, it tells YouTube that it works and it shows it to the algorithm. I don't know how that stuff works. I just got to tell you that because that's what I've been told myself. Three, share the video helps out a ton. So right now, we're going to read uh, five keys to beating the Kentucky Wildcats tomorrow night. Uh, this is uh, courtesy of TheBigSpur.com. And I'm just going to give it to you, man. So the article says South Carolina will play host to Kentucky tomorrow night with a kickoff set for it just after 7 p.m. The game will be televised nationally by the SEC Network, and this article takes a look at what the game customers do well to get back into the win column. So, let's read his first article. We're going to break it down a little bit. It says the first one, find cohesiveness on the offensive line. It says, no, no position group. I was disappointed more through the first three games of the season than the game cost offensive line. Their first three opponents have consistently blitzed both the running situations and passing situations, and offensive line players have not been on the same page. There have been far too many instances of missed blocks and or blocking the wrong players or flat out blocking nobody at all. They cannot afford more of that in this contest and also must do a better job of getting a push on the running place and giving the backs the room they need to produce. So I'm going to stop right there and I'm going uh, to definitely uh, – Comment on that. Yeah, offensive line have been horrendous. Uh, you could tell because our running games, we have three stout running backs. And nobody has really stood out the pack. And I think a lot of that has to do with the running situation. I mean, sure, you had Juju, second game of the season. You had uh, Z. Z was the third, first game of the season against um, East Illinois. So, with that being said, it's like, look, if we want to get those six wins, which I think we, we can. I think that this is – we need this win. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need this win. We need momentum. I think that we can beat Kentucky. Uh, will it be tough? Absolutely. Uh, but nobody this year that I see is invincible on our schedule in these next four games. So, yes, that, running, that offensive line got to wake up and do something. So, hopefully, through practice this week, they have gotten a lot better. So, this is two. Balance on offense. If South Carolina can get better plays from the offensive line, it should put them in a position to show more balanced offense and give offensive coordinator Marcus Statterfield an opportunity to get into a rhythm with his play column. If the Wildcats are able to make the game cost one dimensional, it could be a long night in Williams Bryce Stadium. I agree with that 100%. Three, get off the field. South Carolina defense did an excellent job in the first two games getting off the field when given an opportunity. Last week against Georgia, Clayton White's group had a hard time making stops or third down and allowing the Bulldogs to continue to drive that led to touchdowns. This week, they have to get back to pressuring the quarterback and being disruptive, which helps them get off the field more consistently. Yep, I, I agree. I think that with, with this one right here, uh, Georgia is just a much sup supreme team than us as of right now. And, you know, they got better athletes. So if you got better athletes, it don't matter what you're really going to do and your game plan's better than us, you're going to find a way to score. So I do agree with that 100%. I think that we will get off of the field a little bit better um, tomorrow night against Kentucky. Four, show some creativity. While I'm not an advocate of throwing caution to the wind, I do think this is a contest where South Carolina needs to be creative and potentially work in some tricks, plays on offense and on special teams. If they get better plays from the offensive line, Statterfield should also be able to open the playbook for them and run some plays. Mark Stoops and company have not seen on film. Well, again, um, the big thing is of offensive line. If our offensive line can definitely get there, uh, make some penetration stops, then yes, this can happen. Make the big plays and feed off the crowd. It has been too long since South Carolina took advantage of the atmosphere inside of William Bryce Stadium at night. Nothing gets a crowd more excited than a big plays, and the Gamecocks need to make 
their share of those to ensure those noise levels remain high from start to finish. I don't think that, you know, the Gamecock Nation will have a problem with that. Um, I think there's going to be a rocket stadium. I think that this should be a turnaround game um, for the Gamecock. So the fi- final analysis, I think this is a game that will tell us a lot about South Carolina exactly where they are as a team through four games of the Shane Beamer era. The players are coming off a very physical affair and lopsided loss in Athens last week. They are going to need to put the performance behind them and dig deep for a strong performance on Saturday night. The game could be a difference in winning or losing season when all is said is done. So, we're going to... The prediction is 27-24. Um, so, um, just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, I think that the offensive line got to come through. And and one thing that if you heard through preseason uh, talks was that the offensive line was one, one of, the, of the most... Um, one of the most what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Um, experience group that was coming back, right? So I like it, but I think that we need to really work and really get some things done to make that happen. So I think this is going to be a good game. I think that South Carolina, um, we we need we need to to build momentum because I think these next four games we can win. I, I really do. I think these next four games we can win. I think that. If we play and if we dig deep, we could be six and one going into I think that Florida or Texas A and M game, and then we got a chance to win maybe one, maybe two. They can kind of sneak up on us. And Clemson don't look in- invincible. I'm not saying that we are going to beat Clemson, but Clemson doesn't look invincible. So I am excited to see this game. But here's what I need you to do, people. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, motivator, educator, and please don't forget all three. Thank you, Mary Batman. Another Gamecock news update. And today, we're talking about five victories to win against Kentucky. Let me know what you think about this comment section below. But like always, until next time, people.